All right, everyone. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Valerian Dogan. I'm not, I don't even know how you pronounce it because no, I don't even know where it's from. Um, I know this film is coming out, I believe. Uh, but it's a chase pop. I have found uh, if you've seen my Despicable Me unboxing, then you'll see that the chase, in fact, is here. I found both chases in HMV. All right, so with regards to this one, there has been some kind of discussion happening. I put it on my Instagram, and I have since, and my Twitter, oh, stickers coming off here, and have since been told that this one here isn't actually the chase. Um, it's the other two versions of them. Um, the one with, the, I think, a brown bag and the red bag. And as you can see, this one here is a green bag, but we'll get them out and have a look at them. Um, this one, apparently, for some reason, all HMV, I don't know if it's Britain, but all HMVs have this one classed as a chase. Not really sure why. I was speaking to the guy in the shop and he said that they get them all from China, so they don't even know what what they're getting. So they're already pre-stickered when they come in. It's not as if they do it. Um, but this one, for some reason, I have seen comments where people are saying that this one is the chase and one of the other ones isn't. I've also seen comments where they've got all three of them listed as chases. I have no idea what's going on with these. But I found it in the shops, in the wild, I found one. That's a total light. I found two within 10 minutes of each other in the same shop. And it's the very first two I've ever found. So I was happy enough with just that. If it turns out not to be a chase, I don't care. The excitement of finding one with a sticker was awesome. So, without further ado, let's have a look at them. So, it's number 439, limited chase edition. As you can see, you can see them from there in the picture. Similar with all of them names, number, face, pop movies. And again, this is the other ones in the, in the series. Forgot that word there. Apparently, this one here, Igon Sirius. Cirrus is a massive, it will fill, it's not a 6 inch, but it's not far off a 6 inch. This one will fill a lot of the box and it's quite heavy. Does look a very good pop actually. And there's a picture of them on the side. Um, with regards to this one, the more I think about it, this one actually probably is the chase. Be uh, this one is the real one because this is the picture that is on all the chase boxes with a different character. So. Probably is this one, um, and I thought I was only a winner. But hey ho, as you can see there from the sticker, it's slightly coming off, but put that back down. So without further ado, let's get him out, have a look at him. And there he is out of the box. Um, when I was taking him out there, I did see something uh, you can't see from the box. Can be sitting, but I'll show you that in a second. So looking at him, this one is tiny. And very, very, body-wise is very, very thin. But it also comes with a stand. But that's him without the stand. So he does do it. Let's put him on and have a look at him. For some reason it wasn't wanting to go in there. But that's him on the stand. Not that you need it, but... There it is. So looking at them up close, paint paint is really good on this one actually. Um, as you can see from the way it's been painted, it looks like well, it kind of looks like a leather effect. Um, the eyes are actually quite nice on it. Take off that snout, and you're kind of halfway there to ET. <laughs> but the snout. But then looking at the back, and this what I noticed. I didn't realise he had a tail, and I also didn't realise he had wee wings. And the detail is going to be pants and the satchel kind of coming round his back. I mean, the detail on these are is actually quite nice. Um, just the same as, in my opinion, a boring looking pop. And the only reason he was bought was because it was a chase. So let's have a look at the feet. You get the pegs. One peg is slightly bigger than the other one. Uh, oh, you do get movement in his head. As always, no articulation anywhere else. It's just in the head. I wonder if it'll go right round. Yep, and it goes right round. So, 
Let's have a proper look at it. close to the bags. Even the detail on the bag is quite nice, as you can see it there. Um, it goes around in his wee tail. And with his wings there. I'll put a stamp up on the top there, obviously, because his feet have got pegs in them. Or the holes for pegs, sorry. I don't know about you guys, but the things like this annoy me. Um, the gap. No, you don't see it. But that would annoy me. That does annoy me. It should be more like that. And you think they would be able to get these right, but... Obviously, when they stick them together, they might not. So, look at the, the texture. And it's very nicely sculpted. And the way it's been painted, yeah, it's not really shown up, but it does kind of look like leather, like leatherish. Uh, it does look nice. Looks like it's just a standard colour with a kind of slightly darker wash over the top of it. But it does add to that effect. It gets in right in between the creases. It stands out. So, there it is. Um, as I said, this is... I don't even... I'm not going to collect this series. Only reason it was bought was because it was a chase. Uh, and the excitement of scene two within the space of ten minutes of each other. I couldn't control myself and I ran and got it. And when I was paying for it, I got the wee shaky leg because I was so excited. Anyways, that's him. So, if you like, subscribe. Thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry guys. Just take care out there. And remember, nails need loving too. Ciao.